we have the guarantee that our faith will not fail. Where there is no zeal, there is no love. We were not bought with gold and silver, but with the precious blood of Christ. God's greatest work is not creation, but redemption. Brothers and sisters in Christ, my name is Jesse Romero, Catholic lay evangelist, and in the year of St. Paul, we as Catholic Christians have to realize that we have to make some real serious decisions. Now is the moment of decision, and that decision is we're called to follow God and there is no other. If our future is going to be secure, it must be built on the firm foundation of Christ. And the person that teaches us to follow Christ, that firm foundation, that sure foundation, is St. Paul, the greatest evangelist in the Catholic Church, the Apostle of the Gentiles. He gives us seven points from Scripture that will help us in the year of St. Paul. Number one, St. Paul talks about birth and renewal. The Bible says in Titus chapter 3 verse 5 that... God saved us not because of deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of His own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal in the Holy Spirit. In other words, we as Catholic Christians have been born again through the sacrament of baptism. And so as born again Christians, we are called to act born again. We are children of God. We are part of the body of Christ. And if we're part of the body of Christ, then we should follow Christ, who is the head of the mystical body. The second thing that St. Paul teaches us in Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and 5, St. Paul talks about love, and he says, the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. That's very powerful. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Why can we love? Because God's love has been poured into us. So we can love people through God, in God, and with God. And so, God has given us a heart transplant. God has given us a heart transformation, and this occurred through the sacrament of baptism, when His love, that sanctifying grace, was poured into our heart. Third point St. Paul talks about is power and conviction. Power and conviction. He says this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 15. He says, for our gospel, and by the way, our gospel, that's Jesus. That's the person of Christ and the promises of Christ. St. Paul says, for our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. So notice, we as Catholics, when we share our faith, we do it in the power of the Holy Spirit, not in our own power. And we also do it with conviction. We do it with enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is a Greek word, entheos, which means in God. Fourth point that St. Paul teaches us. Divine inheritance leads to divine sonship. Divine inheritance leads to divine sonship. He writes in Romans chapter 8. He says, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through which we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself, himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God and of children and heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. And so, brothers and sisters, this is so important. We are not wandering generalities. We are not just a blob of tissue as, uh, or just some unfulfilled protoplasm here on planet Earth. We are children of God. We, are, we actually participate in the divine nature of God through grace. The fifth point that St. Paul teaches us in the year of St. Paul, he talks about the new mind, the inner experience of the Holy Spirit. He tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. He says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, and 18, he says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 
and we all with unveiled face beholding the glory of the Lord are being changed into His likeness from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. And so, this fifth point that St. Paul is talking about, he talks about the inner experience of the Holy Spirit, which includes, number one, freedom, freedom from sin, freedom from being a slave to sin, and transformation, the transformation of the soul from darkness to light through sanctifying grace. And he also talks about having a new mind and wisdom. Wisdom does not, from, does not come from college. Wisdom comes from God. Knowledge comes from college. Wisdom comes from God. Sixth point, St. Paul tells us in Romans chapter 8, verse 18 to 27. He basically tells us that the Holy Spirit activates prayer in us. He also tells us that the Holy Spirit intercedes and prays in us. St. Paul also tells us in that text that we're called to pray in the Spirit. And we also know that in other passages, St. Paul tells us that we're called to worship through the Spirit. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, he also says that uh, we experience the Word of God as the sword of the Spirit. In Ephesians six seventeen, the Word of God is the sword of the Spirit. And so, we as Catholics must realize that apart from the ministry of the Holy Spirit, we can't pray. We don't even have that desire to pray. It is God working in us and through us. Seventh point, and I wrap it up here. The seventh point that St. Paul calls us to is moral living. Moral living. He talks about this in Romans chapter 7, verse 14 to 25, as he talks about the struggle between the soul and the flesh. That, that the soul, the, the spirit, fights against the flesh, the disordered appetites of the flesh. And in Galatians chapter 5, verse 13 to 26, he talks about the power of walking in the Holy Spirit, but he also talks about the sins of the flesh, those sins which cripple us. And so, St. Paul is calling us to a moral life, moral living. And we experience the Holy Spirit overcoming the flesh and producing the works of the Holy Spirit in us and through us. How does this happen? we got to go to Sunday Mass. This, ha this happens, we receive that power within Sunday Mass, within community living. We also receive this power through the seven sacraments. And so, brothers and sisters in Christ, this is, this is awesome. The, an awesome year for us as Catholics. Wow, this year of St. Paul, this, this, the greatest Catholic evangelist, this theologian, he leads us into this full understanding and manifestation of the gift of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in our church. Brothers and sisters in Christ, God bless you. We'll see you next week in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation produced by St. Joseph Communications. St. Joseph Communications offers a wide variety of audio and video materials on scripture study, apologetics, spirituality, family life, and more. For more information on the many fine products available from St. Joseph Communications, please call toll-free 800-526-2151 or visit our website at www.stjoe.com. That's www.saintjoe.com. And may God richly bless you and your family.